Welcome back to the Navy Sports Magazine. We're presented by the Navy Federal Credit Union. Navy Women's Golf seeking a Patriot League championship this weekend. And they go back to a place they're familiar with. It's been a few months, but they were up there at the Bucknell Invitational back in September. And the person that finished third that particular weekend joins us now, Kira Howard. And, you know, Kira, as you all seek a Patriot League championship, the fact that you've been on this track uh, before, obviously it's back in September, but... Uh, what do you remember about it? And uh, obviously you played well there. Does it give you a sense of confidence uh, going there this weekend? Definitely. I think it's nice that I played well there in the fall. The course is really nice. Um, there's a lot of hills, which keeps it interesting. Should be a little worse weather this time. I'm looking at some rain this weekend. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's a great course. The tournament hosts are fantastic. Um and having a top three finish, like in the back of my mind, definitely gives me a lot of confidence going into this event. I was going to say, and, and that was your first event, really, as a collegiate golfer there uh, in that situation. Um, you know, what's the key to settling down and and just playing golf, trying to relax, play your game, you know, make your shots um, the, the way that you want to, uh, especially at a course now that you've played before? Do you anticipate anything different second time around uh, in your game there? Um, I don't anticipate anything differently. I think definitely having some course knowledge helps this time around. So that keeps a lot more of your focus on each individual shot rather than like the course itself. Um, funny story, I actually had a bet with one of my upper class, um, just like a silly Navy like morale bet. Um, if I played well. And so she had to wear the like plebe white works for a day because <laughs> I beat a certain scoring record. So just that memory uh, was a good one to keep the back of my head when I'm playing. But there's nothing really different about this tournament. Just it means a little bit more, but each shot's still the same. As you all as a team and, and you know, look, culture builds itself uh, through the course of the year. Um, just the fact that right out of the box, you know, you're able to establish that kind of rapport with one of your fellow teammates that early in the season. How much different and how much closer maybe is the relationship as a team right now that here we are in in mid-April as opposed to the group that got together for the first time back in September? I think our team's gotten really close this year. Um, we've had a fantastic season and getting to know the girls has been such a blessing. And I think – as a freshman and traveling in the first event, it was a little nerve wracking. I didn't really know the upper class that well. And so you're just kind of timid, but I feel like everyone's come out of their show a lot and we've bonded over a lot over the course of the year. So I think that helps us a lot going into the championship, just having a better sense of who each person is and getting along. We get along super well. So I think the team dynamics really good going into this event. I was going to say, at, at you know, your play speaks the loudest uh, volumes and when you play well is that maybe the best way to introduce yourself to your new teammates like that in a situation like that I certainly think so I think it it sets a good example um honestly just a lot of like locker room support and just looking out for each other even as a freshman you know we could still be there for each other I think that helps a lot as well but showing that you can perform especially in your first event sets up a good image for yourself I believe I mean, obviously, you've been shooting it well. I mean, your scoring average has been terrific. Sue really played well over the weekend, obviously, uh, at the Navy Invitational. Uh, what's the sense of confidence for you all uh, as a team going into this weekend? I think as a team, like, we have a lot of confidence in ourselves. We Our games are right there. It's just a matter of putting it together for three straight rounds. And I think we all know we can take home a win at this event and move on to NC2A Regionals and just got to focus on one shot at a time. Is that easier said than done as a golfer? Uh, because I know for every golfer, you know, approach, play, mindset, it's all different. That's the beauty of it because you're, you're an individual out there. You know, there is no calling a timeout and have somebody else come in and take a shot for you, and then you come back, you know, a couple of holes later. But is that easier said than done to have the patience to do it shot by shot uh, throughout the course of a round? Definitely. I know myself, like, if I hit a bad shot, I start getting really quick and fast. And then that just kind of snowball effects, and each shot gets faster, and then I'm not focused as well. Um, it's really hard to just move past a bad shot you had and focus on the next one because oftentimes that bad shot put you in a place you don't want to be, and then you have to 
you think about that one rather than what you're about to hit. So it's always easier said than done to stay grounded. But it's a skill you learn over time. Um, I grew up and I was a competitive gymnast, so that helps a lot with my mental game, I feel like, because I just know a lot of resilience from that sport and it carries over into golf and the long tournaments are the same as the long meets. So you get used to like an entire day of being focused. What got you into golf? My dad golfs, so he plays for fun and he would take out his clients for work because he works in business. Um, and he wanted me and my sister to just like learn how to play, even if we didn't continue with it. But I enjoyed it, so I eventually ended up continuing with it and quitting gymnastics. Awesome stuff. Appreciate you taking some time for us, Kara. Best of luck to you and your teammates this weekend as you uh, hope to bring home a Patriot League championship. Thanks for the time today. Great. Thank you so much, sir.